Hello everyone, my name is Tracy Talgan and today I'm going to be doing some watercolor painting of three foods that you might be familiar with, a lemon, a beet, and a carrot. The materials that I'm using are a 140 pound cold press paper, watercolor paper by Art and Fly, a pencil, an eraser, a white plate, paper towel, a jar of water, a number two watercolor brush, round, Windsor and Newton lemon yellow, Hooker's green light, Cadmium Red, Dioxazine Purple, and Burnt Sienna. So I'm going to start by taking my pencil and sketching out the shapes of the foods that I'm going to be painting. The first one is a, le uh, a lemon and there's a leaf on the top. The second one is a beet and the third is a carrot. So I'm just going to fill in uh, the lemon with some plain water to begin with. And then I'm taking some of the yellow and dabbing it in, but I'm leaving some white areas of the paper for highlights. Then I'm gonna take a bit of green and paint the leaf and then a little bit part of the lemon as well. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm taking some plain water and filling in the shape of the beet. Then I'm taking my green to do the top stem part of it and that is actually I'm going to let that bleed into the vegetable part as well because I want that at the top. Then I'm mixing some of the cadmium red with the purple to make a deep red burgundy-ish kind of color. Filling that in. I'm mixing a bit of the burnt sienna and the yellow to do the highlight portion of the carrot. And then I'm taking some of that burnt sienna and doing the bottom part of that carrot. Then I'm going back to the green and doing the leafy stem part of the carrot. Going back to the lemon and adding another layer of green onto the leaf and the side of the lemon. Then I'm going to take some more yellow and go back over the yellows that I had done before, still leaving those whites and a little bit of the lighter yellow for highlights. Going back to the green and going to do the top part of the beet again and the carrot. And then I'm going back to my yellow orange mixture that I made with the burnt sienna and the yellow to do another layer on top of the carrot with the darker burnt sienna on the bottom. Back to the burgundy and I'm doing another layer on top of the beet that I'd already done, mostly on the sides, and I was careful to leave a highlight area towards the top. Back to the leaf on the lemon with one more layer of green, and again for the beet and the carrot. Then I'm going to take some more of the burnt sienna to put in some details of the carrot, so a few lines 
and some more shadow on the underside of it. I hadn't quite let the green part at the top of the carrot dry as fully as I should have and what happened was is I touched it with some of the burnt sienna on my brush and it bled into that area of the carrot. So what I'm going to do is just sort of mop that up a little bit with my paper towel and I'm going to go over that again with the burnt sienna. making some lines to define the texture of the carrot. Now we're going to go back into our red purpley mixture and do another layer of shading on the beet. So I'm making a few lines uh, and to go around it to, de to define the shape. And you'll want some sort of stringy root-like shapes at the bottom of that beat as well. And that's it uh, for this simple watercolor tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, or subscribe. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, it really helps to support my channel. Be sure to check out my next video of a cherry watercolor tutorial. Thanks for watching, take care, and bye for now.